What is going on people of the extranet? Tyler here with Random Automotive. Today we're going to show you how to read your engine codes using Forescan. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a ELM327 adapter. That link is in the description and a Windows laptop. If you've already set Forescan up, uh, this is pretty much a good video for you. If you haven't, it's a pretty simple process. You'll just have to go on their website, which is down below in the description. Uh, download that, register the software. It doesn't cost you anything for like a two month trial and then it may take a little bit to get the code and then you should be good to go. So once we've done everything and we're in the Forescan program, everything is hooked up, we're gonna to connect to the vehicle by clicking this button here. It'll show the VIN and say, hey, do you wanna load this? Have you loaded it before? We'll click yes. All right, now it wants to swap the HS MS CAN switch to MS CAN. So we're gonna come below and swap that switch to the left. Click okay. And we are good to go. So we're gonna to go to the little triangle in the top left corner. It shows DTCs. I'm gonna erase these out where I checked it earlier. So yours should look like this. And we're gonna click the little triangle button there. And it's gonna ask us to swap to HS CAN again. So we're gonna come below, swap it over. Something important is you will have to have one of these adapters and not one of these Bluetooth adapters. These don't work very well, um, but the cord would work great. And it's a very well investment for 20 bucks, I think. So once we swap that over, we'll hit okay. And we got no trouble codes on here. So no HVAC, no uh, GEM codes, PCM, OBD2, IC, and ABS codes. So we are good to go in this truck. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and like it, or I guess that's the same thing. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And until next time, oh yeah, subscribe. And then until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.